that's my kind of statue right there. So this next project we're going to is pretty much our flagship project. I met these people about 14 years ago. They came into our showroom and they had a koi pond built by their landscaper. He came back, said it's still having a problem with it, it's leaking. I said, all right, I'll come out and do a console. I was looking at the pond. There was EPDM rubber liner on the, um, the upper part. We got to the lower part and it was um, PVC. And I was able to poke my fingers right through it. It was only there for about three years. So he told me just rip the whole thing out. So we ripped it out and we rebuilt it. That pond has evolved into what is a heated tropical fish pond with cichlids and parrotfish and spitters and angelfish and different things like that. So I was standing in his yard and he could not get his grass to grow and it was a big area about 175 by 75 foot with a ton of landscaping in it and he was just griping about the grass and I told him what if it was all water and they came in that Saturday and told me to go ahead and draw the plan up which we did. It led to this huge water feature that was featured on Pool Masters with Anshin Archer Wills as one of the uh, top 10 uh, most extreme pools in the world. There's multiple water features on the property, pondless waterfalls, bubbling rocks, we made a dog fountain, uh, the tropical fish pond, and then the, um, the big water feature. So it's uh, a really cool project that we're gonna get to go see. Features about 175 by about 75, I think. Goes down to about five feet deep. Look at the water quality, too. Obviously, oh, yeah. you've got a wetland filter in there, huh? This is awesome. So here you have your wetland filter, right? This is what keeps your water so clean. And then this is a snorkel that's attached to a centipede. And this is where you can drop your clean-out pump and clean right everything out. It's right down there. Yep, and you just suck all the stuff out off the bottom, pump it out. Right. You only have to do that once a year. If that. Oh, look at this. You got a banana plant growing right in the wetland, huh? Yep. Check this out. Holy cow. That's my kind of statue right there. So there's our first flush system. Water comes out of the downspout. We're also capturing the, um, the still water out of the AC. You got a filter in here. We hard piped it, goes out into the reservoir here, and there's one on, I think all these downspouts are tied into yeah. it, yeah. They're able to irrigate the whole property on the rainwater, and Which then it's much better for the plants. Right, and then if we run out, a valve kicks over, and then it just utilizes the well water. So here we are standing on the 30,000 gallon rainwater harvesting system, and it serves as the main storage tank that ties to all the other ones. This is the biggest one, serving three purposes, filter, uh, storage and reuse rainwater, and then also um, feeding the pumps to run the waterfall. Wow, this is gorgeous. Yeah. There's two pumps on this feature. They're both external. So we can move upwards near about 140,000 gallons, and that's switched between three bogs and two waterfalls. How cool is this? So this is a cichlid pond. It's a heated cichlid pond. Another wetland filter. Looks like Lake Malawi cichlids down there. You would never get this in Chicago, that's for sure. creation. Oh yeah. It was a salvage mission. Never have had any chemicals. It's just the design has maintained it this clear. Man, that's just unbelievable. Yeah, I saw so whatever you Full did. Sun too. Yeah, it's incredible. We followed the plan. Intake Bay Bog. I know I'm sounding like a broken record. Aren't I? But it works. We had a, a just a disaster nightmare of a situation here that wasn't getting any better. Who would you recommend? He's like, oh, I would only work with one guy. If we're not doing it, that's the only person I'm gonna recommend you to. And that's when we called him and. He's like, there's no salvaging this mess. The waterfall was leaking. There was a big bubble under the liner. Yeah. Again, we put that grid system under there just in case it was groundwater. So here's my question. 
how long did the first guy, which we'll relate, name nameless, take to work on this, and how long did this guy do it? The first guy did it quickly because we were on the, a scheduled uh, programming, show? right? And uh, but it took him about maybe six or seven months to, trying to fix it. Uh -huh. As a consumer, we've we've never done this, but yes. we started being suspicious that it wasn't going to get any better. We just didn't like the way it was beginning to look. I mean, he was like cementing rocks here and there, right. and just uh, and the cast of characters he was bringing over to our house it just kept changing. He hasn't no, seen it this grown, you know. Uh -huh. There was almost nothing when he no, and I we put it in there. The birds actually come here and they find their own food. This is for them. And my husband works, he spends all his day over there, you know, providing for my lavish lifestyle. <laughs> and he needed to actually see, he knows every single bird that comes here, their habits. And so he, you're, 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 you're a, a bird guy? Well, he has become a bird guy. Okay. He's Tony Soprano Tony with the Soprano. ducks, basically. <laughs> That's who he is. Love it. They come at the different frogs. times. We have about Actually, 20 varieties of birds that actually yep. come to this pond. Well, they'll come wildlife. Yep. Night herons, blue herons. We have great egrets, snow egrets. We have wood storks. We have ibises. We have a ninga. We even have a pelican that comes over. Tom wanted to make sure they, they had enough areas where they could actually come here. And they have their favorite spot. So you get to observe wildlife. Oh yeah, all the time. There's wildlife all the time here. So here's the bog wetland filter up at the top. Right. It just the water goes in there and then comes over here and bubbles up. And I don't know what kind of filtration system he did, but I've never had to put chemicals into it. And here's your intake pan. Your pump sets. Yep. This is about a year and a half old. Yeah, about that. Yep. That's what he was saying. Mm -hmm. And literally, you haven't had to add any water treatments. It just stays Nothing. this clean. Yep. That's the Aquascape ecosystem in action, there, folks. Well, beautiful property.